The life of the Reverend Dr. Eustace Spear spanned most of the 19th century. The latter part of his life was spent in Athens, successively in two landmark houses, the Thomas R. R. Cobb House, and then later a house that was across the street from what became City Hall. That house no longer exists, unfortunately, but it can be seen in the tangible past of Athens, Georgia. Eustace Spears' life was given to the Methodist Church, and he was greatly beloved, not only by Methodists, but by all people because of his demeanor, his inclusive love. He was the father of one son, Emery Spear, and two, three daughters. Uh, his wife is buried here with him. His daughter, Laura, who was the last member of the family to live in Athens on College Avenue, uh, is buried here. She never married. His daughter, Lula Ann, married William Bailey Thomas, who was involved in early railroad development in northeast Georgia. And she too died early and was buried on her father's lot. And then his daughter-in-law, who married his son, Emery Spear, was Sally Deering. And Sally was the daughter of Albin Pasteur Deering and his wife, who was a Hamilton, Eugenia Hamilton. And they, they were married for 10 years and had five children. And at one point in their marriage, they lived in the house that Peggy and Denny Gallis live in now. It was on a different location, but as those of us who have researched Athens know, houses move in Athens, and that one did move. Um, after her death, he, well, he was already in Congress at the time, Emory was, and uh, he did not get reelected after her death, and he really needed to see about his children. He had five of them to see about, and it was several years before he remarried. He, when he did not get reelected, the President of the United States appointed him to a federal uh, circuit in North Georgia and eventually appointed him to a judgeship, which he held until the end of his life in the 20th century. Emory was a man of strong feeling strong conscience, I guess that might have come from being reared in the home that he was reared in, and he did not mind digging in his heels and taking a stand, whether it was popular or not popular. But in today's world, the stands that he took would be deemed very right.